Welcome to Northern Seoul. Uh, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 and it seems like with the reports coming out now and more information being leaked about the, the game itself coming out as we get closer to the uh, release date, there's some really troubling information coming out and I think it's, I, I wanted to discuss it and maybe those of you that are watching this uh, to have a discussion on you know what's good about the game, what, what you think sucks about it and what you think they're going to change. Because from Destiny 1, they said it's going to be very different. They've learned their lessons and all that stuff. And I'm not entirely convinced that they have. The demo was all right. The story, it was it was fun in bits, but there, there was bits like the, the strike wasn't that fun. It was a real... It was another example of Destiny 1. It was it just felt like Destiny 1. There's nothing nothing new here, folks. Move along kind of sort of attitude about that. And I expect it as something that's a bit more... I expect a strike to be special just by the name of it. You think there's a bit more um, action, a bit more strategy and stuff like that involved in it. And the, the, I just don't feel like the quality from the, the demo that I've... <laughs> I have no reason to think that any other strike that will be included in the game will be different than that setup because they just seem to follow um, actual, they follow a plan and they just stick to it and just kind of recycle, regurgitate and uh, send it out as finished product for consumption. And it's just, it's not fun. There's all that bullet spongy stuff, um, enemies appearing out of nowhere, like just spawning in and it's just, I hate, it's, I think they've missed the mark with a lot of that stuff. Now, the, the real, the thing I want to talk about today is the whole, uh, the solo play. So the campaign mode, which uh, rumor has, I don't know if it's rumor, if it's um, straight up, I think it might be straight up from Bungie themselves, saying that you, you're you not going to be able to play this the solo campaign, the missions, the story itself with your friends. It's going to be you and you. And I don't know if your ghost was there or whatever, but because that guy got the punt off the um, the ship or whatever, if, you, if any of you played it and you've seen the demo till the end, you know how ridiculous that looks. Um, I'm not even gonna get into the story plots and like the the plot uh, holes and it's just really weak story going. And there's just gonna be more. <laughs> I'm like, great, there's gonna be more of it. Fantastic. So this is what we're gonna look forward to as a solo player PVE. And PvP, I'm not even gonna talk about. Like, I didn't like it in number one. I'm not huge into that style PvP, whatever. And so it's either gonna be you dig it or you don't. So I'm, I'm leaving that to the people that play that stuff. If you like it, well, you probably pre-ordered anyways. So I don't even know why you're watching this. But for those of you that want the mixed bag or just more into the PvE and playing with friends co-op and doing um, raids and strikes and um, they're going to be doing the adventures and stuff that they're adding in which is uh, interesting I, I want to believe that those will be good uh, hidden sectors like there's a lot of things with the names that sound amazing like oh man hidden sectors who doesn't want to go look into explore some caves or whatever but I, I just get the impression that it's going to be shorter than I think it's not going to be as special as I think because I think my imagination is going to be much more creative and clever and it's going to be a lunch bag letdown once we get to the actual, you know, evidence, the, the actual product itself of Destiny 2. And you get into those caves and stuff and it's just going to be one huge bullet sponge. And they're like, oh, it's going to be amazing loot. You're going to get down there and it's going to be like end game stuff or whatever. And uh, I'm just going to get the impression that you're going to get down there and it's going to be more um, fail videos on YouTube about getting coins or some sort of stuff you don't even need like some sort of building material uh you're gonna get bamboo sticks or something like that and it's everybody's gonna be like oh and then your friends are gonna be laughing at you and stuff like that it's gonna be just sad sad days and then and then you know if you're trying to get that whatever the next galahorn is in that game um you're trying to get that in the game and it's just your friend's gonna get it you're not <laughs> i've actually experienced that in in number one where i didn't get galahorn until pretty much the end of the game where they were giving them away and sad days that's all I got to say uh, everybody else was having a great time except for me for that so 
uh, a bit bitter about it because it's just I'm just expecting like if it's possible not to ever get it because of uh, you know the random number generator sort of aspect of the loot then you know some of you are gonna be like yep that's gonna be me hands up you know what I mean and some of you are gonna get lucky day one whatever I'm gonna get that stuff um, good for you uh, fantastic but my concern is the the solo play because it's it's once again going against what they were saying to begin with they were saying oh yeah you play with your friends Destiny, Destiny 1, it was all about community. It was all about meeting people for the first time and hanging out, becoming good friends and having massive orgies with them in real life and stuff like that because Destiny is so amazing, right? So at least that's what we've been sold on. And Destiny 2 is going to be more of it, even though they were saying uh, statistics for, uh, it was like less than 50% or something thereabouts, uh, never even did a raid, which is end game. I think that's the, it should be the, creme de la creme the icing on the cake the dessert after a fantastic meal of a video game and at least that one that's what i was kind of like expecting it to be and it just didn't end up being like that um less than 50 percent that paid like full price on the game uh got to experience uh the raid in some sort of capacity and i'll bet the numbers are skewed too it's probably like people that even entered it I'm sure those numbers count. It's it's not people that completed it. It's people that tried the raid. So I'm sure it's probably, a, a, it has to be a smaller percentage of the people that actually completed it to some capacity. And, um, but I think a lot of people like myself, other than like later on in the end game where people are just, they're so bored, they'll, they'll take anybody through it because they're looking, it makes it more exciting to bring noobs through or whatever, or people that haven't done it. And I'm sure that's going to be a thing going forward because they even have a gameplay uh, strategy set up specifically for that, where you find um, your clubs or what, whatever it's called. Well, it's great that I don't even know what these things are called. Uh, that's That's <laughs> how disinterested I am in this game like I'm interested in in the potential of the game just like I was in the first one but it was such a fail uh I even bought the the pre-order pack and all that this is back in the day everybody was pre-ordering everything and you just thought your pre-order guns would be great it sounds like it's just me griping on about it I might as well I mean it's fun to grape on on this game because it's just it's it's so it's so saturated with gripey material. They just hand it to you hand over fist. It's everywhere. It's like you're rolling in it and swimming in material. All the gripiness you want is in this game. And I think they're going to put it in too as well. Anyways, got off topic there because just ranting. The the whole co-op thing. Unbelievable. Yeah, you meet your friends, you, all the stuff. You can play everything. It's amazing. And, and then they have no friends in the solo campaign so you have to it's not even an option you have to play the solo the missions solo and not with, like on solo i mean like just by yourself which is like pretty much masturbation right um except that i'd probably ra rather masturbate than do this game of uh futile masturbation or whatever i don't know why i'm going on that topic just ignore that pretend I didn't talk about that um, so <laughs> it's like they're going against themselves yeah we've got get all your friends involved but you can't have your friends in here but I thought you said you know what about community yeah 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 that's great you can do that in the raid which nobody played because there is no sense of community but this time's different because we're going to put it in the game kind of and it's going to suck because you're still going to be with random people. So the reason why we didn't want to set up in-game is because we set up the raid so hard because everything's bullet sponge, bullet sponge, bullet sponge, bullet sponge, bullet sponge, bullet sponge, bullet sponge. It's just so boring. Bullet sponging. Time to kill. Lengthen things. Lazy programming. That, like That's all it says to me. is we're, and, they, and they follow the same formula. This time, guys, seriously, we're going to put more stuff in the game so it's gonna it's gonna feel like an incomplete game but you got two add-ons put on the game that's what we're gonna do with it basically but it's gonna be day one it's gonna feel like an incomplete game with add-ons 
Um, that's what I'm suspecting is going to happen. Um, I'm expecting massive complaints on balancing. I don't even know why. I don't even know why. I really don't. I'm, I'll be honest. Why they have to have the same firearm statistics or s specials or any of that statistics, the same PvP and PvE. I have no idea. Why can't they just split that? So that PvE, which is not hurting anybody because you're, you're going to be playing it solo. So at this point, what does it matter if you're OP or not? OP? You know what I mean? If you go and work for that gun and grind for that gun, that's just way overpowered and a lot of fun to use. I mean, who doesn't love just one shot killing stuff like that? You know what I mean? In PvE, you should be one shot killing stupid dregs and, and stuff like that. You should, if you're like level 20 or whatever, and they say level three or something, you should just look their way and they just instantly explode. You know, just just put your cursor over as it. You don't even have to just, you just point your gun and they just blow up. You know, that that's how it should be done. If anything means anything, like the numbers mean anything in that game. So that'll be interesting to see if what you're reading on the screen and what, what you're seeing in the menus and stuff even translate. Cause it's just, it's, <laughs> I know they're gonna be like, oh yeah, so you're gonna be a Titan, you're gonna feel like you're a tank. And they're saying you can get these customizable uh, armor and stuff to give you like plus one stats or what, I'm just saying plus one, it could be plus whatever. It doesn't, numbers don't even matter in that game, I'm sure of it. So let's just say plus one stats and speed or armor or whatever. It's like, oh, here we go, micromanaging, trying to add complexity because they think complexity adds value to the game and it just won't it's just going to be all all i'm predicting is it's either going to be ineffective where you, you don't really notice a difference and it doesn't really matter like game one destiny one it, it didn't matter what you had on you you're just going to be squishy no matter what uh you have like a titan in there i like the titan and i'll tell you this much it didn't feel like you were a tank it felt like you were made out of uh, paper mache so you were a child with a cardboard robot suit on, basically uh, attacking, you know, there was nothing special about it. Um, they're, they're selling me on something and it just wasn't coming through. So number two, I'm predicting more of the same only because I'm seeing more of the same. The attitude hasn't changed. That guy, um, whatever his name is, that Luke guy, uh, whatever, Het, whatever, he's in Bungie running that stuff he did the uh if he's seen the ign uh question period thing whatever he was answering questions from people now tell me if you've seen it then you know like by what listening to it that all those questions were cherry picked there were no hard questions there at all there were just dumb stupid boring questions and then him having all day and as many takes as he needs to come up with something funny about that good editing um, they should have, if you've seen any of the commercials for it, they they should have uh, the real action commercials. They look amazing. They're definitely doing their marketing uh, stuff to, to sell the damn game. Um, they should have that person, whoever directed that, run the CGI and the game itself. Because if, if the game was like the real action, which I, it's not going to be, but if it was like that, I'd be, it'd be like most of them, it'd be 10 out of 10. But you know, when it comes out, it's gonna be a six out of 10. Or at the best, I mean, at the very best, it will be a seven out of 10 game coming out, just at, at what I'm seeing right now. And what's gonna bring that up is uh, the graphics and stuff like that are pretty good. I can't complain about the, the art style and stuff like that. And the sound's gonna be good and the soundtrack and all that, that'll bring it up. But really, the, uh, I'll bet the gameplay because of how frustrating it'll be and how same old, same old, and we've been fooled again. I'll bet it'll be a, a 7 out of 10 game or a 6 out of 10 game coming out straight away. And, and then you're going to get the whole, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. Right? Random loop guy, whatever your name is. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll fix it. You guys have been fixing it for like four years now. And I'm just tired of it. I'm just really tired of it. So, I th I'm not getting it day one. I'll tell you straight up. Um, I'm not one of them. <laughs> it's not going to be one of those YouTube... Uh, video creator people that their livelihoods, you know, 
based on them giving some positive feedback on any video games i don't i don't care i'm just going to say it like it is and i think it's going to be i think it's literally going to be destiny 1.5 and everybody <laughs> i don't know what to say about that i'm just really disappointed in that i hear things i'm, I'm i really want to like it i really want to like it and i think i'll like it when it's a definitive edition in the bargain bin enough said anyways guys uh put your comments and stuff on what you think the game's going to become what you like about the game so for what you're hearing you like about the game what you'd like changed maybe some solutions then get some sort of conversation going on um and, and it's not about you're a hater or a liker of destiny it's like it, it, games are so subjective so it's not even that it's just personal preference like uh, it'd be nice if the community gets together and gets things done uh with sort of you know criticism of games and um <laughs> everything's going to be destroyed in you lose all your stuff from destiny one except you know um that that you know when they what was that universal sales or whatever that is that's going to survive for sure Northern Bleeping Soul. This broadcast has ended.